Hello, my name is Sam Surplus. I'm a senior animator at Agora. I've worked on feature films, games. I worked at Sony for three years working on Spider-Verse, Hotel Transylvania, and The Sea Beast. And yeah, today I'll be working with Marionette to pose extract and capture certain performances from my video references. Hopefully by the end, we'll get a nice stylized blocking all the way from motion capture to a presentable blocking stage. What will happen is you'll see that certain things have been sped up in terms of process. First thing I'm gonna do to get my reference footage in, I'm gonna have to go down to this little red button here. It says import videos. I find my reference footage of my performance, load it in. Uh, as you can see, here I am looking left and right and in a bit of a shock. And uh, this is the take I wanna have. Ideally, you'd want to calibrate using a T pose or an A pose in my reference footage and that will work. And it also calibrates the floor I'm standing on. So the software knows where the floor is in relation to me. I'm gonna mark in and out with keys I and O on your keyboard. Um, and I can mark it in whenever I want. Uh, with this specific clip, I like all of it. So I'm gonna mark all of it in and all of it out. So now I'm gonna drag the video frame to the timeline here. I'm zoomed quite out, so I'll zoom in. And as you can see here, it's already pre-rendered the whole take and plopped it onto my character here. I can lengthen and shorten my clip and cut it up here all in marionette. So no need for any third party software for, for video editing of my footage. All right, um, and to clean it up, I navigate here to the little man with the line underneath him. Uh, make sure I've got foot lock on, uh, body, fingers, wrist. So what I'm going to do is click clean motion. So we have our motion now with the foot lock applied. Basically where the white solid lines are is where the foot is totally locked. And the gray line and tick mark is showing the transition between that and the motion that's extracted. What you can do is adjust each one depending on your needs. Use the pose extraction tab. And what this does is take what it perceives as the most extreme poses as key poses and then breakdowns in between. And these are based on hands and feet, how extreme they, they move uh, in comparison with each other. So I just hit extract and it will do the entire selected region and as you can see here it's got the body left hand right hand um, together with the foot lock that we've just done and the long ticks the key poses and the small ticks are the breakdown poses that marionette has perceived on its own what marionette has given me is great but for the style we're going for i personally would like to pick and choose every single keyframe and breakdown myself so i will go ahead and delete the poses that Marionette has given me and go in and, and fully customize what I would like. So what I'm going to go through here and decide which ones are my key poses and then we can figure out our breakdowns. You can also use K and B, the K and B diamond buttons up here for key and breakdown. This is, uh, this is my Maya scene. It's a clean project animation wise. There's no keys in here. I mean, apart from the default pose my character's in. I also went ahead and took my reference footage into Maya just so we have that for reference. Here is the retargeting window. This is where you can retarget your character. And also this is where Marionette can talk to Maya and get your animation in. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is select the control on your character that correlates to what controls that they want you to plug in and simply click the corresponding control. Right leg, right leg IK. Uh, I've got mirror selected turned on. I just hit that, it automatically mirrors it. And then I hit connect. Yeah, so that's connected. We're gonna go back to Marionette. Uh, a new button has appeared, copy to DCC, and we're gonna do that. 
So I've copied that now. Let's go back to Maya. All right, now we've got our keys in Maya. Let's just get the keys in the right area. So here I have plotted in animation from Marionette. He's running in. He stops. He's meant to look left and right. We'll add that in. And he's scared at the end. So we get all of our basic motion with minimal effort in from Marionette. It gives us a clean base to get from. What I'm going to do now is just exaggerate a few frames. I'm thinking I want to add a few background characters to add to the anxiety of our main character. So what I've got here is it was just past the first stage of blocking. There's definitely things that can be pushed and pulled. So this would be a, a really good time to show your lead or supervisor. That's but the basic process of using Marionette for me and my workflow. I definitely saved me a few hours on the front end between looking at your reference and sculpting the poses. Uh, I've got to a stage where I can definitely show, show the intent of the shot and have a good canvas to work from in terms of creativity and yeah. I think it's in a, in a good place to build from.